The bridge system is unique to the arachnopod. It's used for spanning larger openings of voids such as trenches, large holes, mine and lift shafts. To configure the arachnopod as a bridge system, you'll need a tripod and a bridge kit, which comes in its own bag with a spare leg, a bridge with trolley, plus a foot tether rope. This operation is best performed with several people depending on bridge length. Make up two sets of legs to go on either side of the bridge by pairing two legs together with the quick link pins. The legs should be turned in as if forming a tripod but with a missing leg. The bridge head will slot into this vacant spot. Position the legs on either side of the bridge and join the bridge heads to the leg heads. It's easier to secure one side of the bridge head first before securing a second side on the other end of the bridge. This also helps to take some of the weight of the bridge off the person holding it up. Continue this process until all four sides of the bridge has been locked to the legs. While this is being done and before the legs are extended, loosen the trolley guide rope. Decide which end of the bridge you'll be working from because you will want to ensure that a leg with an eye bolt is on your chosen working side. Once erected, the bridge system should be stabilised to prevent lateral movement of the system. The bridge ratchet system is an optional accessory that comprises two 15 metre ratchet straps two snake slings and four round slings of various lengths. Using a round sling from the kit, feed one end from the underside of the leg's head D-ring to the top. Repeat with the other end of the sling. Gather the midsection and two ends of the sling together in preparation for attaching it to the ratchet strap. The ratchet straps have a hook on each end. Thread the ratchet strap hook through the gathered loops and fasten it. Secure the other end of the ratchet strap to an anchoring point and then adjust the tension using the ratchet mechanism. Try not to over tighten the strap, your aim here is to stabilise the bridge system. Remember to tether the legs to stop them from splaying out. Usually you would tether the two legs on each side of the bridge together. To do this, feed the tether rope through the front holes of one leg, then the next leg. Connect the rope through a rope grab, adjust the rope tension, and then lock off the rope. The arachnopod bridge is supplied with a trolley that's rated at 250 kilos. Trolley ropes can be tied off using the equipment bracket accessory or directly to the leg. Once the trolley is in your desired position, lash the rope around the leg using the leg pin as shown. Ensure the tail of the rope is long enough to tie off with. Use some half hitches to secure it. This is an example of an English reeve with mechanical advantage system. There are, however, any number of rigging techniques that can be used with the arachnopod. To dismantle the bridge system, perform your setup tasks in reverse. Move the arachnopod to a safe area and bring the legs together to an upright position. While supporting the upper leg se sections, remove the lower leg pins and slide the leg downwards.
Repeat this process with the upper leg section, removing the leg pins and telescoping the leg downwards. Once the legs have been shortened, reinsert all the leg pins. While this is being done, centre the trolley on the bridge and tie off the guide ropes to the bridge. Finally, remove the head pins from the interlocking hinges to release the bridge from the legs. Your arachnopod components can now be packed up.